Hi, my name is Retromaniac and you are watching Chasing Happiness. Thanks for having me on the show. I'm doing quite well and um, quite a lot is going on. So first of all, my channel is about to reach 300 subs. Initially, my goal was to reach 200 subs by end of this year, but um, reaching 300 subs earlier, that really means a lot to me and uh, I'm very excited about it. Then in two weeks, there will be a retro show in Germany, Bochum. That is about a 25 minute drive away from where I live. And I will attend this show together with the Pixel Fantastics, that is my crew. And if you happen to be there and see us, then just talk to us, we would like to get to know you. And uh, yeah, last but not least, I'm close to reaching my goal to complete a full NES PAL B set. So I just added the 299th game yesterday, so that means I'm only 40 down because 339 licensed released games are there, so that means 40 left. Well, to be honest, I'm not 100% sure about it, but the first thing that always comes into my mind when I try to think about the earliest gaming memory, then it's Pango on the Commodore 64. My favorite video game console is the NES, as you can see here. Um, I have quite a lot of games for the NES. So, as I mentioned earlier, 299 games for uh, the PAL B region, um, plus about 200 games for the NTSC US region. And my favorite genre are jump and runs, brawlers, and shmups. I pretty much collect everything video game related starting from the NES and Master System era till current gen today. My favorite video game memory has to be um, playing in an arcade. Um, as you may not know, in Germany you are not allowed to enter arcades till you are 18 years old. So we went to the Netherlands where it is uh, possible to enter arcades at a very young age. So I. I think I must have been 10 or maybe 12, I don't remember exactly. But I was able to play some really nice games there, for example Space Harrier, the arcade machine, that was really nice, and Afterburner. Well, I'm definitely both, but looking back at the past year and if I have to put it into percentage, then I would say that I'm a 70% collector and 30% player. And the main reason for this is that I did not have a TV in my gaming room. So I was only able to play current gen games in my living room and I'm looking forward to change it now and play more of my retro video games in the near future. So now I'm getting ready for the One Life Challenge and I will be playing on an original NTSC US top loader. Let's do this. I have uh, played this game before, but it is quite a long time ago, so I haven't practiced at all. Let's see what we can do. I will not talk during the session because I need to concentrate. And I will choose full offensive power because for defensive I will rely on my skills. So let's see how this will turn out. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, that's it. For all German speakers out there, my friend Infinity NES and me, we have created um, a website that is called NEScommando.de where we will share some private and some personal experiences, but we will also try to come up with some uh, information that you may not be aware of because there are not so many good uh, German-based websites for the NES and we're trying to change that. Take care. Bye.